Hi, I'm Brandon Doherty with the Toro Company, and during this TacTube video, we're going to discuss the initial programming and fine-tuned calibration of the Pro Control Spray Controller. Now, there's been a couple of Pro Controls used over the years, so we'll show you a few of them and note the differences. Let's take a look at some of the controllers we've used over the years. This is one of the original ones used back on our Han and Multipro 1100, 5200. You can see that the boom controls are actually on the Pro Control itself. Going forward, we move on to the Pro Controller that was used on the 55, 5600 Multipros up into the 5700 Multipro. And lastly, the Pro Control XP. Now when you're going out to work on these, a great reference are these cards. They're initial programming guides on the back and the front. They'll have steps to walk you through and show you all the different functionalities of the different keys on the controller. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the Pro Control we used on the 5700 Multi Pro. Now when I've gone ahead and turned it on, the first question it asks me is the unit of measurement we want to use while spraying. You have three choices, the first being U.S. gallons per acre, and we can toggle to the next two by pressing the CE button in the lower left hand corner. The second choice is liters per hectare, which would be a metric measurement. The third is gallons per thousand square feet. I'm going to use U.S. gallons per acre, so I bring it up on the screen and select it by pressing the enter key. The next question it asks me is what type of wheel speed sensor we're using. Now older multi-pros used a wheel speed sensor on the rim of the machine, which involved a magnet passing by a target. This would be SP1. By toggling the CE button, you can look at our other choices. SP2 was never used by Toro, but SP3 is commonly used on newer equipment where the sensor is screwed into the hydraulic wheel motor. I'm going to select that again by bringing it on the screen and pressing enter. Next we need to enter in the remainder of the calibration values to the Pro Control. We're going to start at button number one and work our way through button number nine. Now button one, two, and three correspond to our boom widths. Button one is the left hand boom, button two the center boom, and button three the right hand boom. Now let's take a look at how we calculate boom width. We're going to take the distance between the, the nozzles on the sprayer and multiply that by the number of nozzles. On Toro sprayers, our nozzles are 20 inches apart. So the outboard booms have four nozzles apiece and the center boom has three nozzles, which means my outside booms will be 80 inches in width and my center boom 60 inches in width. So let's go ahead and put these in the Pro Control. To enter in our calibration values, we're going to select the button, boom cal 1, press the enter button, and then enter our value. We determined it was 80 inches, so I'm going to press 80, select enter, and move on down the line. Button number 2, which corresponds to our center boom, I'm going to press enter, select 60, because we had three nozzles times 20 inches apiece, 60 inches wide, hit enter once again, move on to my third boom which again was 80 inches, the other outside boom. So I enter 80, press enter. And now I'll move on to my speed cal. My speed cal number can be found in the operator's manual, but it's also located on the programming cards that I referenced earlier. On the Multipro 5700, the number was 157. So I'm gonna press enter, 157, press enter again. Now later on, we'll show you how to fine tune that number because that'll get you in the ballpark, but it may not necessarily be right on the money. We'll move on to our meter cal. This number is specific to each flow meter on every machine. On the flow meter is a tag, and it will have this number, 1750 is the number on this particular flow meter. So I'll go back to my pro control with number five selected. I press enter, one, seven, five, zero, enter, and we're done. Valve cal, this number corresponds to a control that operates the pump PWM valve. Now this number is also found in the operator's manual and the reference card I mentioned earlier. On the Multipro 5700, the number is 023. So I select enter, 023, 
enter. Now rate cal one is going to be my rate, my application rate. I have two choices for application rates and then a manual setting on this probe control. We need to program our preset rates in the probe control. The probe control has the ability to store two rates for application and that's going to be dictated by the particular product that you're putting down on the turf. So let's say for example rate one is a fertilizer that calls to be put down at 40 gallons per acre. So I'm going to select rate one, press enter, for zero, zero, because there's a decimal point, so I'm at 40 gallons per acre. I press enter to store that. I move on to rate two. Let's say every other day I'm spraying a different product. It calls for an application rate of 25 gallons per acre. The process is the same. I press enter, two, five, zero, because of the decimal point, I have 25 gallons per acre. I press enter, and we're done. Lastly, we can enter the volume that we have in the tank. So after we fill it up, let's say 300 gallons worth, I enter that in, and as we spray, I can check on it and see how much I have left in the tank. Let's take a quick look at the Pro Control XP. It came out on the Multi Pro 5800, which debuted in the year 2010. Now it essentially looks the same, but it has a couple of features pre-programmed into it, which makes initial programming a breeze. You'll see when I turn it on, it asks me what unit of measurement I want to use, which is the same as the older models. I'll just select US gallons per acre for this demonstration. And you notice that it skips past the wheel speed sensor question. Now when I go in to enter my boom width, you can see those values are already preset in the Multi-Pro. However, you do have the option to change them, say if you had a different type of boom on there. Same thing with my speed cal number and my valve cal number. These all come pre-programmed. So all I have to do is program the application rate and go on my way. Now we have the ability to fine tune two of the calibration values in the Pro Control. The first is the speed calibration and the other is the flow meter calibration. Now when we go out to the field we're going to want to bring two tools with us that are valuable for this. One is a measuring wheel like this. So we'll use to measure out a test track to drive for our speed calibration. And the next is a flow meter that can be attached to a common garden hose so we know the exact quantity of water we're putting in the spray tank when we go to calibrate our flow meter. Now let's go through some of these. If you recall earlier in the video, we entered the number 157 for our speed calibration value for button number four on the Pro Control. And as I mentioned earlier, this number will usually get us right in the ballpark, but may not always be right on the money. So how do we validate that? Let's go over this process. This slide shows the process we're going to use to fine tune our speed calibration value. First, we're going to use the measuring wheel we just showed you to measure off a track at least 100 feet in length in a straight line. The longer the track, the better, but at least 100 feet. Next, we want to fill our tank half full of water, verify we have correct air pressure in the tires, and drive to the beginning of the test track. Next, press the distance button on the Pro Control, and then press the CE button to reset that setting to zero. Then we're going to drive the test track and stop at the very end. Then we're going to make a recording of the distance the Pro Control recorded, and then apply this to our fine tuning formula, which we'll show you next. This is the formula we're going to use to fine tune our speed calibration value. And in this demonstration, we're going to use our current speed calibration number of 148, which is the speed cal number for the Pro Control XP on the Multi Pro 5800. Now let's walk through this formula real quick. V is going to be the current value, whatever's entered in the Pro Control for the speed cal number. We're going to multiply that number against K. K is going to be equal to the length of the test track that we measured out. In this demonstration, our test track was 204 feet. R is going to represent the number the Pro Control recorded, so how far the Pro Control thinks the machine traveled in our test track. So we'll multiply our current speed cal value versus our known value and then divide that by the measured value which will give us our new speed cal number. Let's take a look at the math on the next slide. Here's what the equation will look like. 
we'll take 148, which is our current speed calibration value, multiply it by 204, which is the distance of the test track that we drove. That'll give us 30,192. Then we're going to divide that by 222, which is the distance the Pro Control recorded. So the Pro Control thought that we traveled 222 feet when we actually only traveled 204, telling us that our value is off. So when we work that out, we get 136, and that becomes our new speed calibration number. Simply go back, enter that into the Pro Control like we did earlier in the video, and then you'll be on your way. Now let's discuss fine-tuning the flow meter, which will be very similar. The process for fine-tuning the meter cal number is going to be very similar to fine-tuning our speed cal number. Now the number on the tag on the flow meter that we entered in earlier on the video is usually right on, but it's always good to verify. And the other nice thing about working this formula is if you lose the tag, or if it becomes illegible, or you didn't record it, you can use any number for a meter cal number, work, do this process, work the formula, and arrive at the right spot with the correct meter cal number to get you right on every time. So let's go through the process. First we want to get the machine ready to spray. We're going to use the flow meter, or a flow meter similar to the one we showed you earlier, to fill the spray tank with a known quantity of water. We like to fill it with no less than 100 gallons. Then you want to go to the Pro Control, hit the total volume button on the Pro Control, then hit the CE button to reset that record to zero. Then we're going to go out and just spray all of the water out. It doesn't have to be at any particular application rate or pressure, just so much as that we spray all of it out and then note the reading the Pro Control records, and then we're going to apply that to our fine tuning formula. This is the formula we're going to use to fine tune our meter cal number. You'll notice it looks very similar. That's because it is. It's the same formula we just used to fine tune our speed cal number. Except here, our current value number, which is V, is 1660 in this example, which is going to be our flow meter cal number. Then we're going to multiply that against the known value we filled our tank with, so let's say 300 gallons in this example, and then we'll divide it by the amount of fluid the Pro Control measured when we sprayed all the fluid out. In this example, it's going to be 330 gallons that the Pro Control recorded. So let's take a look at how the math worked out on that. Here's what the equation will look like. On top we have 1660, which is our current meter cal number, times 300, which is the number of gallons of water we filled the spray tank with, which gives us 498,000. Then we're going to divide that by 330, which is the number of gallons of water the Pro Control recorded that we sprayed out. Our new meter cal number is now 1509. So all we need to do is go back, enter that in the Pro Control, and now we've just completed the fine tuning and calibration process for the Pro Control.